Rivers takes the snap at his belt. Frank Clark coming for him. A fade route right side is intercepted! 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 Dirty Dan Sorensen picks it off! One of the biggest interceptions for Dirty Dan's career! Hello and welcome into a victory edition of The Breakdown. I'm your host, Matt McMullen, and this week we are talking Chiefs and Chargers following a thrilling, huge 24-17 win over Los Angeles and Mexico City. The Chiefs really needed to win this one, and once grabbing the lead, despite a relentless effort by Phillip Rivers and the Chargers late, the defense held on. Frank Clark came up huge, Rashad Fenton tallied his first career pick, and Daniel Sorensen recorded the game-saving interception, all in the final quarter of action, to secure a big win. I could go on and on, but first, let's hear from Coach Reed. All right, um, as far as the injuries go, just real quick, Tyreek Hill uh, strained his hamstring early in the game. Damian Williams uh, hurt his ribs. They're looking at those as we go here. Um, Jordan Lucas uh, hurt his shoulder. So uh, Ryder came out but went back in, or excuse me, Reader, and uh, and then LaShawn, I'm not sure exactly all what happened there, but um, something with his head. So I'm not sure exactly what the final decision was there. I was real proud of our defense uh, for the job that they did today. Um, I think Frank Clark probably jumps out at you uh, for the job that he did. Um, he, had a, he had a heck of a game. Four takeaways, the guys that intercepted the football I, um, uh, and then helped create the turnovers. I, again, I'm proud of those guys for the job they did there. We were able to get seven points out of that. Probably had another chance for another uh, turnover right there with uh, the Badger. He had one in his hands that he's kind of kicking himself for, but he did a nice job with the one that he, he, he did catch. Um, Pat had 60 yards rushing. Pretty impressive for a guy with a couple banged up legs there. So he, he pushed himself through and and had uh, some big yards doing that. Kelsey came up with uh, the seven receptions for 90 plus yards and uh, puts him in some elite category there amongst uh, tight ends uh, in the history of the game. So, and then uh, I thought special teams really did a nice job. Uh, I was proud of those guys. Um, Dustin for the way he punted and and um, and and you know maintaining the field position with the coverage teams. Coach Reed really covered a little bit of everything there, and rightfully so, as this was a team win through and through. All right, let's dive into this one. A lot was made about the elevation and how high scoring this game was likely to be, but the first quarter was relatively quiet. The Chargers connected on a field goal on their opening possession and missed another field goal a drive later while a holding penalty stalled the Chiefs' first drive and a Patrick Mahomes interception, just his second of the year, halted Kansas City's second possession. The Chargers were driving on their third series, threatening to add to their lead, but then Frank Clark came tearing around the tackle to rip the ball free from Chargers quarterback Phillip Rivers, shooting the football into the arms of Derek Nadi for the interception. Rivers is hit! It's intercepted! It's intercepted off the deflection! Picked off by Derek Nadi! Pressure from Frank Clark! Clark came in from the outside! It is the 11th interception thrown this season by Phillip Rivers! Clark technically doesn't get credit for a sack in the box score on that one, but it was a huge play to stop the Chargers' drive. And how about Naughty tallying the first interception of his pro or collegiate career? Defensive linemen don't catch the football much, but Naughty can forever say that he has a pick in the NFL. Unfortunately, the Chiefs couldn't get much going on that drive, but just six plays into the Chargers' ensuing possession, Kansas City would be back in business. Facing a third and eight, Rivers fired the ball downfield for Keenan Allen, but Tyron Matthew came sprinting across the field to pick the ball off and return it all the way inside the L.A. 10-yard line. Rivers steps up, sinks it over the middle, intercepted! Intercepted by Matthew at the 30, 25, 20! Honey Badger going left! He's at the 10, stumbles and falls down at the 7! The Honey Badger doesn't care! A 34-yard interception return by Tyron Matthew! And the Chiefs are in business! 
Huge play there by the Honey Badger, and it set up a touchdown by LaShawn McCoy just one snap later. McCoy on a power run right. He's at the five, lowers the shoulder. He does! Touchdown! Kansas City! Larva by the Honey Badger! Steps up a shady touchdown, and the Chiefs have their first lead of the night on a six-yard blast. Give credit to Anthony Sherman blowing a hole wide open. That marked the Chiefs' first score of the game and put Kansas City in front. But the Chargers were back in the red zone just to drive later as Chargers tailback Austin Eckler scampered to the Chiefs' 8-yard line. But for a third time inside the Chiefs' 25, the Chargers weren't going to find the end zone. L.A. couldn't move the ball beyond the Chiefs' 8, and all they had to show for yet another big drive was a field goal. The Chiefs later added a 41-yard field goal from Harrison Bucker to extend their lead, making it 10-6, before Los Angeles again made it to the Chiefs' 25 in the closing seconds of the half. But again, all the Bolts could do is come away with a field goal. Those missed opportunities were piling up, and Kansas City was about to make the Chargers pay on their first drive of the second half. Facing a third down and two, Patrick Mahomes eluded a pair of tacklers while scrambling 20 yards to move the chains. Mahomes' second rush of at least 20 yards on the night. Fake handoff. Mahomes now will run it to the right side. He's got a first down and more. 45 to the 50. Mahomes 45 and tackled as he gets to the right sideline. He's got a first down in Charger territory. Tackled by Denzel Perryman. It is a rush of 20 yards by Patrick Mahomes scrambling. Mahomes then found Sammy Watkins for a gain of 15 and then Shady McCoy for a pickup of 16. Setting up a six-yard touchdown run by Darrell Williams. Darrell Williams will run it right side, trying to find a hole. He's inside the five, runs over a charger, touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs go to the two-back. They go right up the gut, and they punch the Chargers in the gut, electrocuting them with the second Chiefs rushing touchdown of the game. The defense then forced a three and out on the Chargers' next possession, marking a strong start to the half for Kansas City, and the Chiefs would keep it up on their next drive. Patrick Mahomes led a six-play, 54-yard drive that ended in a 23-yard strike to Travis Kelsey, pushing the Chiefs ahead by double digits. They're going to throw it deep near side. Kelsey caught it around, caught it, touchdown, Kansas City, and Mahomes right on the money and just drops the ball into the hands of Kelsey, a 23-yard touchdown. Remarkably, that was Kelsey's first career touchdown against the Chargers, and it was a beauty. We caught up with Travis after the game to talk about that play. It was an unbelievable ball. I mean, heck, it, he makes it easy on all of us, doesn't he? It's, uh, I was licking my chops uh, the first, the drive before that. They, they were running a little bit of cover two. And uh, I, I didn't specifically go up to, to Coach Reed and tell him, you know, run that play. But he, he, knew, he knew what was going on out there, too. So it was just, a, I mean, it's a, a great play call, a great throw. And uh, I, was, I was lucky enough to grab it for, for six for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, baby. The Chiefs had taken control of the game in the blink of an eye. Kansas City had two second-half touchdowns, while L.A. had just two yards in the second half to that point. But we've seen time and time again that this Chargers team isn't one to just go away. Phillip Rivers is as competitive as they come. And on L.A.'s next drive, he led the Chargers back within a score when he found Keenan Allen on a seven-yard touchdown. The two-point try was good as well, making it just a seven-point game. The Chiefs couldn't get much going on their next drive, putting the defense in a position to step up and protect the lead. And that's exactly what Frank Clark did. On third down and six, Clark, who didn't get credit for a strip sack earlier, plowed into Rivers yet again, ripping the ball free. Rivers managed to recover the fumble, but the drive was over and the Chargers had to punt the ball away. Rivers steps up, he has hit, the ball's out, but recovered by the Chargers at the 36, right at the line of scrimmage. But three fumbles tonight recovered by the Chargers. They've also had two interceptions. But Frank Clark, again pestering quarterback Phillip Rivers, but it's a three and out for the Chargers. The Chiefs later had to punt it away themselves, again giving the Chargers a chance to tie things up. But Clark came up big again on third down to stuff Austin Eckler as the shifty tailback looked to pick up a third and short. Clark instead came barreling in to stop the play for a loss, again forcing the Chargers to kick it away. They give it to Eckler, a hand up! He's buried! Frank Clark read it all the way and put his shoulder pads right into the belt of Austin Eckler. It is a three and out backed up as the Chiefs get the Chargers off the field at 6.41 to go in the game. The back and forth then continued for a third time as the Chiefs punted the ball back to L.A. with just over four minutes left. The defense was again asked to step up and make a play, 
and after two straight possessions that the veteran Frank Clark made the difference, it was rookie cornerback Rashad Fenton's turn. Rivers unloaded a deep ball on third down and 10, and the sixth round pick out of South Carolina was there to take it away for his first career pick. To throw Rivers. He's going to throw long middle. He's throwing long middle. It's going to be intercepted. Fenton's got it, picking it off. Intended for Andre Patton. It's the first interception of Rashad Fenton's rookie season. And the defense will run to the end zone and take a picture. Rashad Fenton picks it off. It's the third interception tonight thrown by Phillip Rivers. What a moment for Fenton, who was in there for the injured Kendall Fuller. We caught up with him after the game to talk about his interception. Number two just so happened to cross my face and, and keep going vertical, so I know I had to carry that. Just me and him, the ball in the air, and I just ended up grabbing the slipped in the front of him. Interception, that's just how it all took place. Can you describe the feeling when you came down with that ball in that um, situation? To be honest, unbelievable. First person that meet me was five. We call, honey badger, Tyler, I'm at, whatever you want to call him. Like, first person that meet me with was him. I was just like, oh, yeah, like this, this is real. International interceptions, you know what I mean? That's the caption. Don't steal my caption. I got to say it first. But it, it's unbelievable. I can't even top. That's the greatest feeling I ever felt. The Chiefs moved the ball a bit on their next drive, but credit to Los Angeles. They came up with another stop to give themselves a final chance with just under two minutes left. Rivers then found Mike Williams for 50 yards downfield, and all of a sudden, the Chargers were in a prime position to tie, or if they went for two, win the game. But Dan Sorensen made his best play of the season, plucking the ball out of midair while falling into the end zone. And that was that. What a win. I'm exhausted, but I don't mind one bit after winning a game like that. The defense stepped up in such a big way late, and it paid off in a major way. And even better, this defense wanted this moment. They wanted this responsibility. We caught up with Tyron Matthew after the game, and he explained as much. I got to be honest, we, 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 this week we wanted to be in that situation. You know, we wanted to be able to, to get that bad taste out of our mouth. And uh, you should have saw the looks on the guy's face when we knew we had to go back out there. Everybody was locked in, in tune. I mean, from, from our young boys to our vets, um, it, it was a beautiful thing. And we got to keep that going. Uh, I thought we communicated well on the sideline, pre-snap, post-snap. Uh, we, we worked a lot together. And um, uh, so if anything I could take from the night is, you know, how, how tight we played um, and, and how you could tell that the guy was playing playing for the guy next to him, so um, if, I'll, I'll take that. We'll certainly take it too. And speaking of the defense, let's dive into my three stats to know from this game. My first stat is four. The Chiefs picked off Phillip Rivers four times on Monday night, marking Kansas City's most interceptions in a game since week five of last season against Jacksonville. And get this, since 2014, no player has thrown more interceptions against a single opponent than Rivers has against the Chiefs. My next stat is 59. Patrick Mahomes rushed for a career-high 59 yards in this one, and while that might not seem eye-popping, those numbers all came in huge moments. Mahomes scrambled to move the chains on third down three times, and on a night when everything wasn't clicking on offense, those runs helped be the difference. We caught up with Mahomes after the game to talk about the damage he did on the ground. Uh, I was trying to just just make plays happen. Uh, We struggled in the pass game uh, as far as doing what we, we would like to do, and so uh, they have great pass rushers, and so whenever they got just too far upfield, I try to take advantage and, and get first downs. And so uh, I think the biggest thing was there was the one big run where it was a kind of an RPO, and I tried to throw it, and they caught me with a, going into a cover two. And so I ended up running where the running back should have ran, and then the, the one late in the game when the, they were rushing upfield, and I just kind of slipped out and found a way to, to get a first down. My final stat is 24. The Chiefs are 24-3 against the AFC West since 2015, the most wins for any team against their own division in the NFL in that span. Think about that. Success in the division is critical, and nobody wins against their division more than Kansas City. All right, let's wrap this thing up with some final thoughts. The Chiefs needed this one, but so did the Chargers, and they fought hard to steal this one from Kansas City. It was only a week ago that the Chiefs lost a tough one in the final seconds, but this time, the defense wasn't going to let that happen. Multiple guys stepped up, battled adversity, and fought to earn this victory. Here's what Frank Clark, who had three quarterback hits, a sack, a forced fumble, and a pass defense on Monday, had to say about the statement made by him and this defensive line. It just, you know, just shows you know type of player I am. Uh, you know, this is me. I mean, ain't nothing changed. Just still Frank Clark, you know, still dominant. I still feel like I'm one of the best in the league at, at my position. And, uh... 
you know, just I got a, a great defensive unit. Man, I love my defensive line, man. You know, it's nothing. There's nothing I can do, you know, without them. You know, we 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 go we go to work every week. You know, we, we go through all the difficult times and, you know, we go through the, the turmoil and people doubting us and stuff. And, you know, it just feel good to be able to go out there with my D-line and get the job done, man. And it wasn't just the defense. There was a lot of talk all week about how all three phases needed to step up after last week's loss. And that's exactly what happened on Monday night. Huge win heading into the bye. And now the guys can rest up, get their bodies right, and prepare for the final five games of the year. That's all I have today, everybody. Enjoy this win for the next few weeks, and I'll see you all back at Arrowhead on December 1st.